So I have quite a few aftermarket modifications on the Mega Moto 212. So right now it's running a Predator 223 with a built rod, built flywheel, 28 millimeter PWK carb, 275 cam with 32 pound springs. Got the external tank, 40 tooth rear sprocket, a center exhaust with a pit bike muffler. Has a 30 series torque converter with the juggernaut driver. And I got the bike over 60 miles an hour and in the three second range from zero to 30. And that's even with the 42 rear sprocket. But there's one thing I wanted to do to make the bike more comfortable to ride. So I think the handlebars are maybe just a little bit low. I think if they were raised up a little bit, it would probably make a big difference. Kind of like on this Coleman bike where I raised the handlebars three inches with the three inch risers and I put them on top of the stock risers. And it made the bike a lot more comfortable to ride. So I picked up another set of risers for the Mega Moto 212 and this brace for the handlebars. So the thing is on this bike, the brake lines are only long enough for the stock bars. I'm not sure if I can raise the bars up three inches with the stock lines on here. So I picked up this brake line that's a couple inches longer than the stock line. So I think that will allow me to raise the handlebars up. This is the front line and then the back line, I think I can reroute to get enough extra line to be able to raise the bars with the back one. Pull the stock line off of here. Let's pull this line off of here and make a giant mess. Actually, I did replace this line once before, but it's the same length as the stock line. How long do we have? Hopefully it's a little longer. Yeah, see? So that'll work. It's just a few inches longer. Just long enough for the uh, for the risers. Looks like it'll work. It gives me a lot of extra uh, line. Oh yeah, that'll give me plenty. Yeah, I think this will be about perfect length for this bike. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that gives me plenty of room. That looks nice on there. <laughs> Throw some fluid in here and bleed that brake. Some of this fluid run out of here, some of this air. Squeeze that handle. Hold that handle. Squeeze that handle again. Yeah, it takes a couple reservoir fulls just to uh, to fill up the line. Now we'll probably be able to start uh, getting fluid out of there. Okay, nice firm break. So now I'll swap those risers out. So we've got plenty of line here. And we'll see how much I need to pull the rear one up. Another cool thing about the risers, or the bolts that come with the risers, is they're so long, you can either cut them off and um, bolt them directly to the bottom mount or leave them long and use the existing top mount to stack on top of the riser. It actually gives you like another, what, three quarters of an inch rise, just like I did on this bike, where I added a riser on the bottom. So now I will add the, uh, the new risers on here. And then add the top mount from the existing riser. So then I still have plenty of bolt there to bolt to the uh, stock riser. And the other one on here. Now I'll 
I'll throw this brace on here. It's just for looks, basically. Then I can tighten it up during that. Tighten the jam nuts. Pretty sweet on there. Definitely give it a lot of rise. So I might have to move this rear brake cable a little bit, pull some of it down. I think it turned out pretty darn sweet. Got plenty of brake line for the rear brake line, and the front brake line turned out the perfect length, or pretty darn close. It is much more comfortable like this, at least for me anyway. I mean, you still lean forward, but not not so much. I think it's got like the perfect feel to it now, where you lean a little bit forward, but you're not all the way down here. So I think it's a lot better. So you have the risers, and then you have the stock Megamoto 212. So definitely a big difference. I mean, some people might like it lower, or like the bars lower, but me personally, I like them a little bit higher.